Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Clara Rose. I am your savvy entrepreneur and show host, Clara Rose. Every week, of course, I bring you interesting topics about being a savvy entrepreneur, or I bring you a special guest. And I have brought back a special guest by popular demand. She was here with us a few weeks ago talking about wellness, and I have her back again today. Please help me welcome Melissa Taylor. Hey, Claire, I think Welcome for having me. back, my friend. So we had such a great show last time talking about what it is that you do. But for those who didn't get to see that particular episode, give us a rundown so that the newbies know what it is that you do. Definitely. So I am a health and wellness coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, my background was I owned a gym for over 20 years, helped people with nutrition and kind of behavioral modifications um, with working out and even without, just depending on what they were doing. Um, and just trying to bring hope into a space that is kind of challenging with all these yeah. options out there. Yeah. Can even, feel for, even for myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because yeah. we're all in the same boat together. Definitely. Right? Okay. So um, you don't own the gym any longer. No. So you focus on the other side of things. Talk about that a little yes. bit. Um, yeah. So obviously we own the gym. You know, working out was first and foremost our for right. on our first day. And uh, what we've noticed through time is the more challenging part was the nutrition and the mindset mm -hmm. mindset shift that needs right. to occur. Um, so with what I do now, I do it online and I'm able to work with people all over the country. So I'm not limited to location. Right. That Which helps. for a gym, you definitely are. Yes. Right. Yeah. If you live more than, well, at least for me, if I live more than 20 minutes away, it's not happening. Yeah. Right. And they even, and <laughs> right. they even say it's even less than that. Like, like th really? I think it was three to five miles is the ideal wow. uh, space from work or home. So you could see how you then become limited to who you can help. Right. You know? So doing it online, I'm able to work with people um, of all ages, um, you know, all backgrounds. Um, we all know not everybody likes going to the gym. Right. So I'm able to work with them on areas that we can improve so that naturally they want to move at some point and, right. and be more active. <laughs> right, right. And then there's lots of different options for being active. Yeah. It doesn't have to be in the gym. Exactly. Sure. Some gyms are more pleasant than others to be yeah. in. Very true. So I'm currently kickboxing twice a week. Love it. Yes. How are you I love it that? too. I love it. I do. What are we enjoying it's, most? Um, well, it's kind of an empowering feeling, actually, right? So I'm learning, you know, how to jab and you know uppercuts and I'm I'm having to balance because we're doing front kicks and roundhouse and so I'm I'm using my body in ways that I haven't used my body before love it and uh, when I'm done I'm like drenched in That's sweat great. you have to feel accomplished she, right yes so I yeah. feel accomplished and yep. then we so we go through it's um my trainer is she owns a couple of nine round fitness facilities so it's based on the that concept i might have to join you i'm doing nine rounds i'm telling <laughs> I'd you love to come she kicks yeah. your hiney she totally does love and it. then she because it's customized for me specifically she also takes me to a machine that has um we're doing some upper body strength training because that's like my <laughs> my my weenie part of my body, definitely. Right. I don't have a lot of upper body strength, so we're really working on that, and then we're working on, on my core strength as well. So she, yeah, she works me pretty hard. That's great. Love I, it. I, I used to be able to, like, go You're and, twice a week? Yes, going twice to that? a yeah. week, yeah. I could go three times, but, like, I don't want to abandon my... My daughter and I go to the gym after work on the op other days. So I don't want to abandon her too many That's days. That's great. And we're going to talk but about that later I with accountability. Do love. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's really good. I do love it. Yeah. That's great. That's well, and you're an example um, for those that don't know, Claire has been working with me with her nutrition yes. mindset. Yes. And you're a prime example how you working on that first. Right. And then now adding in your exercise has been great. And you've been consistent with it. Very you know, consistent. Which is, which is awesome. Where if you would have started it maybe from day one when we were working together, there's a lot of pieces to right. try to put together. All at one time. Yeah. yeah. So I because I started the nutrition piece first, we started uh, in July. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of that year, Jan actually January. Yep. So the end of that year, there was the local gym had a special. 
I remember that's right. right. So I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to join the gym and, and hired a personal trainer. So January, um, so it's been a year and a half. Exactly. Right. So like, okay, yeah, that's, so really our journey began two years ago. Yeah. So we've been working together for two years. So I, 30 pounds which is in wonderful. two years, which is slower than a lot of people do it. And I understand that. Um, but that's not what it's about for me. Yeah. Right. I'm, that's right. And what was and good, stronger. as you know, is that everybody's goals are going to be different. Right. And that's what we're going to talk about too, as yes. with goals, right? Some people yeah. are willing to say, I'm just going to go this direction and I'm going to keep my blinders on right. and it works for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, or they crash and burn, right? Because right. they're so one, you know, they have their blinders on and they, when they go off track, they really feel like they're quote cheating. Like we talked right. about cheating on the right. diet. And like, oh, this isn't going to work at all. <laughs> yeah, right. Whereas with you, I like that we've taken small steps along the way. And I think it's something more maintainable. It is. Right? And you don't ever feel like I can't do this. Right. Right. Cause it's, you're just not overwhelmed by this all this stuff. It's just these little, these little things, little habits, little daily changes, exactly. little, you know, incremental. And that works for mm-hmm. everyone. It's just slower. Yeah. And not everyone's willing to hitch its mindset thing. Right. So you can't say, oh, I want to lose 40 pounds by next month. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you could pull that off, you know, good for you, but yeah. that's not staying off. Right? Exactly. So exactly. it's about figuring out, and we hear this all the time, you know, what's your why? What's your why? But you have something different to say, yes. right? And it's so funny. <laughs> You've been put down, what's your why with a big X? And because... crossed it out. <laughs> yes. And we know that's a big saying, right? With our right. business, with right. our finances, our relationship. But what we discussed, which we kind of said that this works even with what you do, mm-hmm. is, you know, what are you trying to accomplish? Right. Being very specific with that. Right. And who can help you in that space? Right. And I think um, what you want to accomplish is be very specific. Um, right. And then when people ask why, it's more the what. I think about it as, okay, so let's just say someone wants to lose weight, right, as an example right. with this. Um, then from there, what, what my thought uh, with that isn't just the why part, but what I've been working with lately is um, we all knew that we do things out of fear. Mm-hmm. Or pleasure. There's kind of two. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me back up. Pain or pleasure. Pain or pleasure. Right? Or habit. We know that one. Or habit, right? <laughs> nice habit. So a lot of times um, it's the pain of, you know, a doctor's telling you, hey, if we don't do this, you're probably going to be on meds the rest of your life. You're probably going to. You're going to die. Yeah, or that. <laughs> <laughs> we might not die. see your kids get till 18 or whatever right. that is. Right. And then pleasure. Again, we have other things that we do that we're willing to sacrifice for, for pleasure. Sure. Um, the way that we look, the way that we feel, those types of things. But what it made me think about is if we're specific with, okay, if we continue where we're going for one year, five year, 10 year, where will we be? Where will we be? Right. And we do the math, right? Okay. I've been gaining five, 10 pounds a year. So if I don't change (laughs) something, what do we look like in 10 years? You know, and and just being real with that, you know, I think, I think when you're just real with someone, if we continue the same path, Mm -hmm. then you're probably going to get the results you've gotten so far. Right. So something needs to change, right? <laughs> yeah, that's um, pretty universally true in everything right? in your life, right? If you keep doing the same things, overspending, you're gonna, right, you're going to get the same results. More credit right? card debt. And to think that that's yeah, to think that that's not true is insanity, right? right. That's the definition of sanity. Yeah. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different, different result. Exactly. So we have to do something different if we want a different result. Exactly. So then that's where when you think about who can help you. Mm-hmm. Um, we all think at times that asking for help is weakness, but we all know it's the complete opposite. You know, when you right. ask for help to the right people. Right. So again, people come to you in the space that you're in to help right. them do the things that you're good at and have the experience and can say, hey, I've done this before with these right. people. Um, I feel the same with, with, with what I do. Um, you know, you don't want to go to someone that hasn't been able to do that. Right. <laughs> Right. I mean, it's like, it's that's almost true. like when you go to that's someone, true. if you have relationship issues and you're going to someone that's been divorced three times, nothing right. against that, but, <laughs> but probably, there's a sign there, right? There's a sign. Yeah. So right. I think that's the thing is going to someone that has the track record right. of helping people in that space and that are passionate about it and that right. are willing to say, you know, maybe you're not going to go at the pace that I think you should go at, right. but I'm willing to, to work with them and not give up 
you know, in that space. Right. So I think that's really important. So again, what do you want to accomplish right. and who can help you in that space right. that's qualified? Right. That's yeah. qualified. I guess that's a good disclaimer <laughs> because lots of people will, well, the same has been true for me for many years. Lots of people will, oh, I'll help you write your book. I can help you write your book. I can, you know, edit your book, but they don't have the experience to back that up. Right. And then you end up with for a quality book, or it doesn't right. actually ever happen, right? right? I bet. So you need somebody who has the qualifications who, who can say, yes, I've done it. I've had the success. Here, let me walk with you. Yeah. Let me help you make that happen. Yeah. And we talked about this before, that that's what coaching really yeah. is about, right? Coaching is really about having somebody who's who walks with you, who has been there, who knows what they're saying, knows what they're doing to help you achieve yeah. something. So helping you in the beginning to say, okay, what is it that you want to accomplish, mm -hmm. right? What do you want to accomplish? And then having somebody to say, okay, here's a path to that, yeah. right? Here's, and that's where you come in. So you can say, well, it's interesting. Um, there. Yeah. And it was interesting when you think about we are what we think, Right, mm -hmm. what we're, our mm -hmm. thoughts and what we're thinking about. So, I always use the example of usually we we ask ourselves questions all the time, right? And we have this question dialogue. Yep. <laughs> you know, why can't I lose weight? You know, why am I yo-yo dieting? Why is it that when I start on Monday, I you know give up by Tuesday <laughs> right. you know? or Monday afternoon? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> so, what I always ask my clients is, okay, you know, you know, you're asking yourself these questions, and very quickly our brains are going to answer that question. It's going to be usually very negative, and you're going to come up with mm -hmm. because our family's all overweight, because you, you aren't good at keeping your promises, because, you know, you're lazy. We, we, like we come food. up with answers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to eat good food. Yep, yep. I don't want to change. Right? Exactly. So instead of asking ourselves, you know, why can't I do this, um, you want to ask yourself a better question. So it's, you know, instead of why, why am I not losing weight? Then we're going to ask something like, you know, how can I lose weight? Which right. now your brain's going to start thinking of possible solutions. Like, oh, right. I can find a trainer. I can right. I can call a friend and maybe have a buddy that I'm going to walk with. Right. And you're going to start coming up with more positive. How can I lose weight? And then the last part is how can I lose weight and enjoy the process? Or how uh -huh. can I get healthy and enjoy right. the process? Right. So maybe it's not going to the gym. For someone in the beginning, for somebody, you sure. know, in the beginning, yeah. or maybe it's not doing certain things, um, but for them to enjoy that process, what does that look like? Um, so you think about someone that doesn't like to cook, and maybe that's been their sticking point. Well, then let's not cook. What, where can we order from, or what can right. we do? Don't let that be what holds you back, right? You know, if that's not the space at the time, right? You know, I don't love to cook, but right. I'm learning different things, right? And open to trying different things, even as they. Um, a health coach, um, there's ways to get around certain things and right. being honest with what your strengths are. Right. <laughs> That's a big deal right there, right? right? An honest look mm -hmm. at what your strengths and weaknesses yes. are. I love to cook, right? So right. for me, that can be a real weakness because you know, my husband will say, gosh, I wish that I had something yummy. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's blueberries in the freezer. I could make you a blueberry crumble or I could, right? right? I have all these. Like this. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I could whip out it. I have stuff. I could make you an apple pie. I could, right? You know? Right, or right. I say, what's what's yummy for dinner? And I'm like, hmm, well, I could make a big old pot of spaghetti or mm -hmm. I could make chicken cordon bleu. I have all the stuff for, right? Because right, for oh, yeah. years I've just been cooking all this yummy food. And quite frankly, all this yummy food is not all that healthy. Exactly. Right? So for me, it's been more a struggle of figuring out how do I make the stuff that I am cooking make it healthier. Exactly. Right? Healthier choices. And that's a huge So that one. I can enjoy the process. Yes. Right? And that's ex exactly it. Right? So you don't want to give up on, that's a passion of yours and yeah, it's I a like great it. thing. So how do we make Mexican or Italian or American? Um, and there's so many options, as you know, which we've discussed and we, you know, there's so many um, recipes now that give you... Again, with your husband's a little tricky right? at times. He's, he's, he's trickier. <laughs> Doesn't want any of the you know weird vegetables. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we talk, well, remember we talked about uh, radishes. Yes, which, so I haven't tried it. You know, so we talked about radishes being able to put those in the um, air fryer yeah. or to roast them, which I thought would 
not taste. I thought it would still taste like a radish, yeah. but they truly take like taste like little like red potato. potatoes when you so take I, them. Last night I did a precursor to trying that. I bought the little white potatoes yeah. and did the same exact process with the you know some sea salt and some yeah. olive oil, and I threw those in and roasted them up as part of dinner. Yep. And I just then asked him, "How did you like them?" And he said, "Oh, those are pretty good. I you know I like those. Those are pretty good." Now we'll sneak in. So and then I said. <laughs> So I think I'm going to try some red potatoes. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. That is so fun. So You're gonna, getting them ready. I'm getting them ready. <laughs> We're easing towards. <laughs> the if he sees this, this show, he's going to be on to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I but love But if it. they taste yummy, then he's not going to care, right? Because for him, it's, it's about the meal tasty. I guess I've just spoiled him by cooking all these wonderful foods for all these years. Yeah. You know, and even my children, I kind of... They still call me. My children yeah. are 38 through 9 and 40, and they will call me and say, Mom, what, how do I do X, right? right? What is your recipe for that that ham and potato soup that you make, right? Or what is your recipe for stuffing? Because right? right. they're like after Mom's good food. So if it tastes good, yeah. he's not going to complain about it. Yep. And if he likes it, says, ooh, this is really good, and then I can say, oh, well... This was a healthier version of what I usually do. I did this, but he's already said, yes, I like it. it. Exactly. Right? So I don't tell him ahead of no, time. No, definitely not. We don't tell him we're making radishes <laughs> as potatoes. I don't tell him we're making radishes <laughs> as potatoes. We're going to just try it and see what he exactly. says. Exactly. And then if they're yummy, I don't know if I'll even tell him. Maybe I won't even tell don't him. Don't tell him. <laughs> no, we'll Let's just keep it a secret. Don't a let secret. him watch this episode. <laughs> <laughs> right. He doesn't always watch my episodes, <laughs> but... If he stumbles across it, then I'm in trouble. But anyway. And then what I was thinking about is, um, and we've talked about this as well, is people have to be ready for change. Right. And this made me think about, I was at the grocery store today, and I uh, heard two um, employees talking about Ozempic, mm. which most people know of, of that, which is if I've got this right for diabetic patients, typically. Right. It's the and it's, um, semaglutide. Yes. Right. And, it's, yes. and the whole idea typically is to help them with their A1Cs and to get them right. in a healthier space. But now we know that it's being touted as the new right. hot... It actually um, helps people lose weight. Weight loss. <laughs> right. You know, drug. So to hear them talk back and forth, both of these people that are diabetic, um, one is a little bit overweight, one's not overweight at all, but both have been on it for a long time. I overheard them talking that both of them had issues getting it and... Um, one of the, the ladies said she hadn't had it for four weeks because so many uh, people that don't need it, and i just bringing that up yeah. because, I mean, that don't need <laughs> it, meaning they could change their behavioral type things, right. but are choosing not to. Um, it's causing a, tr- you know, a like shortage, shortage with the people that really need it. You know, let's go right. with that route. So it opened up a conversation with the, with the two of them, and um, that's what we were talking about is that if people aren't willing to change, you know, some of their that habits, right? Um, I could give my services away for free and, and it wouldn't make a it. difference. Yeah, <laughs> right. right? It wouldn't make right. a difference. So I always tell people that's, that's the true. main thing you need to ask yourself and only you know the answer. I had right. a lady the other day that, um, you know, we, she signed up for a month with me. Everything's month to month, so that's mm-hmm. nice on that end. Um, and we're putting it off for two more months to start. And literally, it's a mindset thing for her. She's not ready yet. Yeah. And I told her, I said, look, only you know right. when you're ready to, to, make a, to make some changes because I am going to ask you to make right. some changes, you know? <laughs> you're going to have to and give up the yeah, know, bowl so, of ice cream at exactly, night or the whatever. You know, and we're going to have yeah. to make some changes. Um, and we'll talk about what you're willing to right. let go of it, you know, right. one thing at a time. But if you're not willing to do that, then no program's going to work. Right. Right? You Why know? even bother to start? Yeah. yeah, and it's going to be more frustrating for her, for me. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So I think that's the question I would ask everybody when you're right. starting a journey. Um, are you really ready to right. make some changes to get those results that you want? Right. So is that what you want important enough to right. make some changes? You yeah. Know? What do you want to accomplish? Yeah. And then yeah. no sense in finding the who unless you are really ready to make a commitment to yeah. that. Well, and for me in the beginning, you might remember that I said... I am unwilling to give up my coffee yes. with my half and half in it, right? In the morning, I am unwilling. That was like my line in the sand, right? Like it was. so many, 
of the the things that I'd been trying, like my daughter and I, you know, would try different things, and and one of them was the fasting thing, right? Right, fast for twelve hours, mm-hmm. fast for eighteen hours, whatever it was. I'm like, I when I get up in the morning, I need my coffee, and they're like, you can have your coffee if you give up your cream. I'm like, no. <laughs> That's where I draw I the line. I'm willing to give up my half and half in my coffee. So, and so I haven't. Yeah. Right. But, and I just told you that right up front. I'm unwilling to you do did, that. Yeah. And you said, okay, that's fine. That's right. Right. And that's, that made it easier. Had you said, nope, you absolutely have to, you know, follow us exactly or. Thanks, Melissa, but no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> right. Yeah. I would have said, hmm, let me think yeah. about it and call you never. <laughs> Because that is, was a deal breaker yeah. for me, yeah. right? And and because I'm willing to to go at a slower pace, I don't care. And you know, if it takes me three years or five, whatever, yeah. to get to my goal, I don't care because, you know, I'm my. What is your goal? Right. I do have a goal, and I've said it out loud to a few people. Have you told I've said me? It to you. What, what, remind yeah. me. What's, what's um, the to be one? in the best shape of my life by the time I turn sixty. Sixty, which right? is. Um, well, I'm 58 now. Okay, I turned 50, 58. So years. we have a couple of years couple left. Years. Um, I love it. And so it took me a really long time. It took me over a year to say that out loud, right? For a long time, yeah. it was just me in my head, you know, by I'm going to be in the best shape of my life by the time I'm 60. Because 60 sounds like such a significant age yeah. to me, right? right. <laughs> yeah, it's significant. So I thought, okay, there's my, there's, that's my intention. That's my goal yeah. right there. But it took me like a year before I said it to, to anybody, point, yeah. right? So first of all, I had to, to feel like it was possible, mm-hmm. right? That that I could actually get in shape and that I could change my habits and that I that it was possible. And you're seeing it and it, becoming. Small yep. increments, I'm yeah. inching toward it. So now it has upped my belief, right? Love so it. now this, I'm like, that's my third week of kickboxing. That's great. Right? So that my thought process would has changed right. to me feeling like that's possible. I, right? love I it. can do that. And I, I feel way more capable, right? Like And you hit it on the head if you don't yeah. believe it's possible with anything. Right. right. right? If someone said, Hey, you right. know, would you like to be a millionaire? Sure, I'd like to. Hey, right. would you like to um, you know, have a home in the mountains? Sure. Right. I mean a lot of people, but if you don't see how, how, the how, and yeah. you don't have someone, again, helping you in that space that's done it and right. that can get you there, then it really doesn't seem possible, so you're right. not going to you believe. Have no belief. In, yeah. Right? You have no level of belief yeah. for that. Okay, so we're winding down to our last few minutes. Okay. What other things do you want um, the listeners to know about what you do or yeah. any other nuggets to give us? Um, I would just say... I think a lot of times there's so much like we talked about, and this might sound like a broken wheel, but it's how I feel with it when it comes to this. There's so many options sure. that I think a lot of times we choose nothing. You know, a lot of times oh, yeah. people are just like, I don't know what to do. You know, I, I know I need to lose weight. Um, but, but with that, with not knowing which thing to pick, it's like there's so much information right. that you pick nothing. Right. So whether they're calling me, whether they're doing anything, whatever they pick. Right. Do something. Pick something. <laughs> right. Pick something. something yeah. And just work, you know, little baby steps with whatever it is that you pick. Um, because, again, you know, when we feel better, we show up better. We all know this. You know, right. it's, it's and, and, and very quickly, I mean, I know with our program, within a week, I have people texting me, um, like, wow, like, my cravings are going down, and I'm sleeping better, and my inflammation is going down. <laughs> so, I mean, those things are worth doing some yeah. extra work, you know? Yeah. But it's going to take some work. And I have a yeah. sign in my bedroom that says, don't wish for it, work for it. Yeah. Oh, I like things that. Things that are desirable take work a good relationship takes work you know i mean so i would just say um and for those that are out there i do you know free health assessments so um my website is um i have to think about it Uh, (laughs) health what is my website i don't remember healthandhopecoach.com and And it's all you know in one word but we have i have a free health assessment there and all it is is it's like coffee with you. I mean, it's yeah. just pretty much a conversation. Um, I let them know what I can offer, mm-hmm. and it's month to month. And if you're getting the results you like, we do another month. Yeah. If for some reason it's not a good fit, you okay. know that's fine. Right. You know, yeah. but at least you'll know. 
um, after our talk if it's if it's something that seems like it could right. be something of help for you. So, and if it's something that needs to wait like yeah. a month or two, then Just that's like that. totally okay. Exactly, it's, because it's a it's a it's conversation, a journey, right? <laughs> it's it, yes, exactly. Getting healthy, and sometimes people just calling me gives them the desire now to go to even do something else, which I'm fine with that too. It might spur something on right. that they're like, you know, I need to get back to that habit of walking again, right. or I need to. Right. So that's kind of cool too. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I think it's wonderful that you don't care what it is they do as long as they're moving in the right direction towards exactly. getting healthy. Because exactly. I think that that just shows your passion in that Thank space you. for helping people Thank you. to make a change in their life. That's awesome. And I'm proud awesome. of you. Um, thank you. Proud of you. It's, it's been, uh, it's definitely a journey for me. And Any plans um, for 60 of where you guys want to go or what um, you want to do? I, I don't necessarily have any plans for that. Yeah. Um, we do, next year is our 30th wedding anniversary, so we have talked about um, Italy for that. We'll, nice. That's kind of the plan for that. We've been talking about that for a long time. So likely we'll do that. Um, but the big six zero, I'm not. I'm not sure yet. But I do. I do want to be in the best shape of my life at that point, and so I'm working it. really hard toward that goal. And thankfully, I have a couple of years left because I still have a long road ahead. <laughs> okay, we're out of time, my friend. But thank you so much for thank coming you. back on the show That's again. Great. Appreciate it. Um, we will have you come back again at some point and and educate us some more Sounds about good. how we can be healthier and have hope again in our lives. So, all right. My friends, thank, thank you, you for Clara. coming. Thank you. I appreciate your time so much. Thank you for coming out every week and listening to what I have to say. I love showing up each week and sharing guests with you that have something encouraging or wonderful or interesting to say. I appreciate that you show up every week. And then, of course, when you show up and I don't have a guest, you're so kind to listen to all the things that I have to say to you. I am here to help you be a savvy entrepreneur. As you know, that's my passion in life is helping people to thrive in their business or their ministry or their cause. And I love that you show up every week for me. Thank you once again. I will see you next time, same place, same time, and we will do something else fun teaching you to be a savvy entrepreneur. Thanks so much again. Take care.